Hello, thank you for stopping by. Uh, today I am bringing you three thoughts, three messages, that's my aim, uh, using uh, the John Holland Oracle Cards for the week beginning uh, the 15th of June 2020. Okay, so what I like you to do is put your feet flat on the floor and then relax into your body and take a comfortable breath, okay? <sighs> while you are dropping your jaws, dropping your shoulders, feeling relaxed, okay? And I want you to focus on a question while I'm bringing you the three cards, okay? Um, we bring, the three, we bring the question into your heart while you continue breathing. Now, if I, uh, as I, uh, now I have three cards in front of me, so I want you to choose one, one number, okay? One, two, or three. And then as I'm looking at these numbers, uh, uh, these cards, I feel that this twirl, this, this swirl, okay? Twirl, twisting, swirling, that is the energy, as if as Monday uh, has begun, and then it just brought this energy of movement, okay? So whichever day I'm looking at during this week, and, or whichever uh, set of cards I'm looking at, it feels that every day is going to bring some different energy, okay? This is like swirl. So it feels that, oh, one morning I'm experiencing something, and I feel that is going to be the energy for the day or for the week, but then just we need, need to be present that actually things are changing and shifting so very rapidly and so very quickly so even if you fear that feel even if you feel that you are grounded by the afternoon then just get prepared because for the following day and the following day will bring very likely might bring will bring uh, a different shift okay a different energy so we just need to get hang on to everything what we know for sure and then just allowing okay so the week is about allowing okay if you feel that something is why you are allowing this energy to make you shift and make you move okay and if you feel tense or nervous in your stomach the solar plexus area just continue remember the, how you are breathing okay and how you ground yourself now some some people some of us will feel that we leave things behind okay as if you want to pick up something while this soil is coming like a wind okay that taking us picking up us us up up and then making us move and then swirl around but then if you feel that you left something behind maybe some things needed to be left behind okay so when we when we are in the middle of this swirl and change we just need to focus on where we are going next okay where the next step is sometimes where the exit is okay spirit is also giving me the the word exit so just watch out because the the, the word of or the the, the option of exit, exiting that energy is also there, okay? Uh, and we need to also, while we are in this form, how I see it is that people need to link, okay? Connect, connect, even a little bit more, okay? A little bit even even more connecting. Even with those people you thought, you thought oh, it's, I can't imagine how I can connect with or how, how I can do anything, how can I do anything with that person? Um, so like, a, like a really new things coming, okay? Really new things in a way that um, there will be sudden ends, um, sudden ends and as suddenly things finish as, as quickly and suddenly unexpectedly new things pop in front of us on the screen, okay? So we just have to be prepared prepared for all options now for if you if you have if you have chosen number one i want to say wisdom okay so it's like i'm a person who is who is really seeking and it's so important for me for this week to seek wisdom okay it's either outside of me i'm studying and looking into things and searching and looking into things and looking into material i want to understand things okay and then i feel that once at the beginning of the week this energy picks up it continues with this with this with this with this, with this notion okay so i I am unstoppable. I really want to go for. I, I. I am not going to stop until I, I. I understand things fully and everything is clear for me. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> it also means that it um, a parallel to this. It also means for this person. <clears throat> I'm. I'm responding. <clears throat> I'm responding. Yes. I'm. <clears throat> my voice is responding to you. <clears throat> 
maybe saying saying certain things you did not want to say or you you you, you thought you could not say okay so th that energy needs to come up because your inner you know, wisdom needs to come up okay let's see what we have here yes you have got the power you've got the strength okay spirit is showing you strength and then despite of all the con conflict and the defeat yes we will go through this week quite a, uh, a few people feel fear this okay and then again, <clears throat> heartache and loss are a little bit similar to this. So we need to let things go, okay? Let things go and experience, but always at the same time remember that even when we feel at the bottom, we will come up to the top, okay? Because the light is there. And then also this little candle is, is, is representing that, that the zest of you, you know, your spirit. So that is really going within that wisdom okay and then get your power together get your act together okay and that will help you through the week okay so if you are number one you get a lot of strength power and wisdom there okay <laughs> right number two no, number two i want to have I, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit artistic here with number two. It's either I'm dancing or singing or I'm expressing myself. I think uh, for number two, uh, the, the, the self-expression, I want to express myself using my artistic abilities, okay? Or maybe I'm just thinking about it. I've got some artistic abilities, but then somehow this week is going to be quite uh, relevant, okay? Even really revealed for quite a lot of people. Um, and then in a way that uh, the trust the trust that moment when you put the pen or the or the paintbrush on the on the paper and then just let it go how it goes okay so just being very much being in the moment and how much you trust okay so that you that you are you, that, because you need to express it you know you can't have another week and then another week dragging your energy on and then you're always saying oh maybe one day i will do it okay but spirit says it's just you know you need to trust you need to really you know that's the time if you're not doing it now then when do you want to do it okay number two movement choices decisions absolutely different you know the different variety uh, and it's not just what is in front of you, but then you see the, the differences out there in front of you, the choices um, according to how you want to see, you know, how you allow your own, own um, creative abilities and energies and vibration coming to the fourth, okay? Because they will help you to make the choices, okay? Choices from your heart, not from your mind. Maybe that's the time to shift things you know maybe you are a person who has been making choices from your mind from your thoughts but hey it's in a different um time now we live different in different times now go with you know what your heart is really telling you there okay use your intuition okay another card was you use your intuition reflecting okay and then for some people it might also mean we just need to be a little bit quiet okay claim claim your space claim your 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 stillness and then your, your your space and your and your quietness okay we all need that okay so if you have chosen number two in order to be able to really tune into your intuition to make informed choices using your heart energy you will need we will need we always need this time and we need to have a little bit quiet time okay we need to withdraw okay meditate or, or um, be out in nature okay walk in nature by yourself doing by yourself doing it by yourself okay so this is the message quite lovely and creative and vibrant uh, but at the same time reflective and deep for those of you who have chosen number two okay card number two the number three if you have chosen number three i want to be with people okay i want to relate to people um and then it's like relating and finding them and and then finding out what they are up to and how they are feeling really is quite important especially with family members so if you have chosen number three i feel that you might be the one who is Maybe calling a grandmother you haven't spoken for some time, okay? Or you are checking up on your children who live maybe quite far away, you know, and then you haven't heard from them for a couple of days, or grandchildren, or, or something like that. But it is important that um, that it's, it's coming really honestly from your heart, and then you 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 want to know that everybody has good well-being, you know, so people feel okay, okay. Um, um, so that, that is number three, even writing emails, writing letters, okay, responding to letters, being part of this conversation, okay, correspondence. And then also, if you have chosen number three, encouraging other people in your surroundings, okay, in your family, in your environment, encouraging other people to do the same, you know, so you can check up 
so it's, it's, it's being being socially emotionally a little bit present and there for everybody for each of each of us okay because everybody's going through some funny times these days okay you need to have patience there okay but the patience is maybe partially with you but partially with the people around you okay um, because you might find that some people are not feeling that energy, what you feel for this week. So we just need to be <sighs> present, breathe into it again. Okay. Have patience. Now you also got the fin financial and material changes. Okay. So this is where we need to ground ourselves. Okay. Uh, earth ourselves. And then if you do this, because I'm feeling for you, it's quite, quite um, uh, for people who chose number three is important that how you have your, your feet on the floor and how you ground yourself, how much you are in the present moment. Okay. Um, so that you make really good and wise decisions, financial and material changes. Okay. For some people, it also means, you know, if you are writing your CV and uh, sending your application uh, off to somewhere, just looking into how you are highlighting your own abilities and skills, you know, because whichever hand or whichever figure we look at, you give different qualities, okay? So just having that balance. Okay, so before I, I would suggest, you know, before you send your CV off, resume, just read it through maybe one more time, just check, is it really, is it really what I want to bring out from, from my paper there? Is it what I want to really emphasize, I want to show? Is, it the, is, it, is that the most important thing for me to represent or show about myself or tell about myself? Okay, so that is, that is for you, number three, prosperity begins. Okay, so it's somehow yes, we we got the, the the social emotional contact contact and 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 awareness of others, and at the same time how we are individually being in action, uh, balancing what we have, what we have to offer, what we want to do, and moving forward. Okay, and it's just not just your pro uh, prosperity begins, but then the prosperity of around, you know around you. So it's not necessarily financial and materialistic uh, material changes that but that is what it means. But then also prosperity, how you are patient with others, you know, that, that is that's prosperity because sometimes you need to really draw really draw from patience uh, to be there for each other prosperity with emotions and love okay on that aspect now so that was number three i i really hope you have enjoyed this i really hope that you have heard something what you can take away with you for this week so that was for the week beginning uh the 15th of june 2020 if you feel that you want to comment or if you want to share or you want to like or you want to follow the page please do so because i would be really uh uh, grateful grateful for that and would be lovely to hear from you you know how you landed with this week and how things have been moving forward for everybody uh, I have sent it with good wishes and love if you want to find out more about my work please read the information on the, the, on the, on the this recording um, if you are in, uh, watching it in YouTube otherwise you can find me on other means other platforms of social media so here we go thank you very much and have a gorgeous week ahead Watch out for the next one. Watch for the next week's recording or anything I do. In fact, <laughs> bye for now. Thanks. Who's up?